Welcome to the Capturing Data Manually and Responding to Alarms presentation. Capturing Data Manually refers to using a keyboard to key in measurements and other data. Responding to Alarms refers to taking action based on real-time signals from WinSPC. This interactive presentation introduces how shop floor personnel manually enter tag information, manually enter product measurements, determine whether a process is in control, and respond to real-time alarms. Imagine that you are an operator who is to enter plastic bottle measurements into WinSPC. To begin, enter your name and click Login. Typically, WinSPC is configured so that the first window an operator sees is the navigator. The navigator is a sort of hub, which among other things, is used to launch a collection plan and view supporting collection plan visual aids, standard operating procedures, and instruction. To view inspection guidelines for the plastic bottle, select the bottle collection plan, and click the Inspection button. When you're finished reviewing the inspection procedure, close it. Now, let's launch the bottle collection plan. To do this, click the SPC button. This collection plan is set up to prompt for tag information every time it is launched, specifically a lot number and a machine number. You could also configure WinSPC to prompt for tags at other times, for instance every time an operator enters data for a characteristic. To supply tag information, click inside the lot number field. Enter lot number 100 and then click the machine number drop-down box. And select machine 2. And click OK. This is WinSPC's data collection module. It is here that product or process data is captured, charted, tested, and alarmed on. You can define the order in which measurements or attributes are captured, include a labeled image, and configure other options to guide shop floor personnel through a standard inspection procedure. Our bottle's cap diameter characteristic is set up to have three measurements captured at a time. Enter measurements of 26, 27, and 29, pressing Enter after each. Immediately, WinSPC applies predefined tests and, finding no failure, updates the control chart and advances to the next characteristic in the collection plan, the bottle's middle diameter. Let's momentarily return to the cap diameter chart. This point is the average of the three measurements you entered. This vertical green line indicates the current lot number, one of the tags you entered. These blue lines mark the upper and lower control limits, and the words in control tell you that at this moment in time your process is in control. Let's now enter a middle diameter measurement. Unlike the cap diameter, values for this characteristic are captured individually. Click inside the middle diameter field. Enter 61 and press Enter. Again, WinSPC applies predefined tests. Finding that the measurement exceeds a control limit, WinSPC prompts you to supply an assignable cause and a corrective action. WinSPC could have been configured to trigger other actions, such as alerting supervisors, adjusting a machine, or updating external systems. 
Let's take a minute and explore in general why alarming such as this is critical. The tests you apply to process data are capable of detecting when something is negatively influencing your process. Alarming gives shop floor personnel the opportunity to prevent those influences from resulting in parts which, for example, need to be scrapped or reworked. And, as you know, prevention directly translates into cost savings. To respond to this particular alarm, select Bad Material as the assignable cause, select Inform Plant Manager as the corrective action, and click OK. Now that the action required by this alarm is completed, the collection plan advances to its next characteristic. Returning to the middle diameter control chart, we see that Out of Control now appears in the upper right corner. We also see the middle diameter value you entered has been plotted in red, and below it a Notes marker is displayed. By mousing over this marker, you can quickly identify the assignable cause and corrective action associated with the data point. WinSPC's manual data entry capability includes easy access to all your essential data collection tools and enables you to collect production data in a fraction of the time required by paper-based methods. WinSPC's alarming capability gives you the early signals you need to control your processes and in turn prevent scrap and rework from needlessly inflating your manufacturing costs. For a more detailed introduction to WinSPC's alarming capability, including how to set up alarms, view the Defining Alarms and Automating Corrective Action presentation. This concludes the Capturing Data Manually and Responding to Alarms presentation. Thanks for watching.